we were very aware at, at the time that um, we had this image of being ordinary dairy fellas. And people said it was, it was natural and unconscious. I actually, in, in my case, it wasn't. Because, uh, and the rest would back this up, you know, I hated any idea of, uh, of pretense about the band. And it's a kind of strange thing that society does to you. Yeah. Where you end up divorcing yourself from your surroundings, whether you like the idea or not, and it, it you know it became for me just very simple little things. It became difficult to go out and have a drink on a Friday night because I couldn't buy my mates a drink because they mm. thought I was being a flash like, bastard. Yeah. You had to come back and face the same friends that you had, you know, a year before. You were famous. You had to come back and still be able to talk to them, and uh, if you had to come back with either an English accent or an American accent, accent, or. Uh, even unusual clothes, you just couldn't have done it. You could not have walked in the street with your head held high. This is the last good song on the programme. very, very hard audience really for a young band uh, doing sort of the uh, 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 the things that the undertones were doing and with sort of the consciousness that they were trying to express uh, through their music. There's a, you know, at one level the bog side there's no pressed place, it certainly is historically uh, an oppressed place, but also an oppressive place. Uh, I mean intense demands upon people to conform and not to step out of line sort of understand an ancient Irish thing which was perhaps intensified in the situation in the bog side at that time, that you didn't get above yourself. You know, it's, uh, uh, I mean, one of the, uh, when people were slagging you off, they would say things like, we know you, we know where you come from. I mean, don't you get too big for your boots uh, and don't adopt airs and graces and styles, uh, you, you know, that place you outside the consensus of the community. I say I feel a bit uh, strange about it thing down here, you know, because you remember that Sex Pistols line in uh, Holidays in the Sun about cheap holidays in other people's misery, you know what I mean? And obviously there's a lot of misery around here at one time. Do you, do you think that anybody at the time was interested in the band partly because of the kind of political context from which you'd I come? I, I, I think it would be naive of us to say that it wasn't that way. Um, there was obviously from day one, the first time I ran into a journalist, it was fairly obvious what the outside world perhaps was motivated by. Because mm. invariably you wanted to talk about politics and what was going on there and why didn't we write songs about barbed wire and on and on and on and on and on. Yeah. It's outrageously dangerous if you lived there, that you indicated any sort of allegiance one way or another. Mm could have got you in an awful lot of trouble. For us it was more you know, naive in that people honestly believed, and to this day it still goes on, and I still find myself having the same conversation. People are naive and stupid enough to believe that by turning up in Belfast or Derry and playing on stage for two hours, that's suddenly gonna heal and bond a community yeah. that's been ripped apart for 400 years. It's like, you are dreaming. I don't know where we lived and breathed 
what was going on in the early and mid 70s. Yeah. All day, we dealt with it every single day of our lives. You, you could not walk to school in the morning without getting stopped and searched and questioned. So, you know, for us, getting up on stage in the Casbah on a Friday night and getting slightly bombed on three pints of beer, it was pure, utter escapism. And our audience, i.e. our mates, didn't really need us to get up in front of them on a Friday night and start lecturing them about what was politically going and socially going on around them. For them, it was the same thing. Three pints of Guinness and hallelujah, here comes Saturday morning.